welcome to In the Kitchen with Becca. Welcome to my kitchen. This is where I love to spend a lot of time. I love cooking for my husband and I. In my last video, I shared all the ideas that I've done so far for food prepping. This time, Lee and I are going to try something a little different. We bought a bunch of these little bread pans that will fit inside of our 12 volt oven. It looks like a lunch box. It plugs into the 12 volt plug in the truck and it heats up to about 350 and we can cook our food in it. We just needed some little um, containers to put things in. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Sit back, relax, and welcome to my kitchen. The first thing you will want to do is go ahead and prep your chicken for cooking. I like to slice my chicken in half. It makes cooking a lot easier. And then we're going to, going to prepare our Italian chicken. So the first thing we're going to do is prep our Italian chicken. I'm using this creamy Italian dressing. I just pour it in the pan. I'm going to place my chicken inside and layer it. Here's a reminder for you to use the opposite hand when you're handling chicken and wash your hands. I wash my hands before I handle my seasonings. I add a salt, pepper, and Italian seasoning and I bake this in the oven for about 30 to 45 minutes and it was delicious. Nice, tender, and juicy. The next thing we're going to put together is chicken pot pie. For me, chicken pot pie is the ultimate comfort Two, food. One. First thing you want to do is go ahead and boil your chicken. You can boil it or you can bake it. I put about a chicken breast and a half in this. And I went ahead and boiled it until it was done. And I went ahead and prepped my veggies, which were potatoes. And then I cut up my chicken. Next step is to make your filling. First of all, you want to make some type of chicken gravy. I went ahead and melted about half a stick of butter, which is about four tablespoons. And then I added four tablespoons of flour. I did end up having to add a little bit more butter to it. But usually when I make gravy, I use equal amounts of flour and butter. Next step is to add your chicken broth. And I think I ended up adding about three cups of chicken broth to this. Just keep on stirring, constantly stir this because you wanna get all the lumps out. Then add your seasonings. I added parsley, rosemary, a little bit of garlic powder, salt and pepper to this, and stirred it together and it was very, very good. The next step is to go ahead and add your potatoes. You want to cook these until they're al dente, which means tender to the tender when you put a fork through it. Don't cook them all the way through because they'll finish cooking in the oven. I did end up adding a couple of ladle fulls of the chicken water to the mixture because I felt like it was a little too thick. So there's another tip for you. Always save your chicken 
broth that you use to cook your chicken in because you can use it again. Next step is to add your cut up chicken. I added about two cups of chicken to this and it was just the perfect amount. Then I added my frozen peas and carrots and gave it a good stir. I let it simmer for about 10 minutes just to get it all nice and warm and let the flavors cook together. Gave it several good stirs. Then of course, Hubby and I had to taste test it, which is his favorite part of cooking is the taste testing part. And as you can see, he's being his adorable goofball self and I'm teasing him and he approves. The last step is to go ahead and spoon your mixture into the container you're going to bake it in. Then I'm going to show you what I used for the top pie crust. The last thing you want to do right before you put this in the oven is go ahead and get your favorite biscuit dough or crescent dough crust or pie crust, whatever you like. This is your recipe. I'm just showing you how I make it. And what I'm gonna do is when I'm ready to pop these into the little oven, I'm gonna open up this crusted crust pan, I'm gonna put it on top of the pot pie, and we're gonna bake it in our oven. Y'all have a great day. Thank you for joining me during my food prep for our week. So it's a lot of hard work, but food prepping ahead of time makes life so much easier. If you like this video, give it a like, subscribe down below. Y'all have a great day and I will see y'all later. Bye.